Oh, guys. Well, it's time to put the old feet into action and hit the road to the Margarita Bar here in Paradise, back in Bacalar, Mexico, here to wrap up February. It is Tuesday, February 28th, 2023. And uh, so, you know, I'm getting ready to have my eyes assaulted once again uh, by all the uh, young, beautiful, uh, <laughs> the young, beautiful vulva slurpy, vulva smoothie slurpy crowd of young, beautiful hipsters taking over uh, Bacalar. Uh, Mexico. So before I head out to torture myself, uh, <laughs> been enjoying looking over the comments uh, about uh, my first foray into Medium.com with my uh, with my first essay on Medium.com titled. In praise of naked women and the men who appreciate them, and uh, so I've uh, been going back and forth with my good friend from good old Texas, who I hope to be seeing in a couple of weeks, uh, Nielsen Alhambra. So this is uh, for those of you who have missed it. This is our exchange so far about. Uh, in praise of naked women and the men who appreciate them. So, Nielsen's first comment was, to paraphrase an old saying, I would not want to see naked any woman who would let me see her naked. My response to that was, obviously, your history with naked women and mine are different if you had been on the dock here two days ago, I assure you that you would not have penned that comment. And Nielsen replied back, back when I was a youngster like you, yes, back when I was a youngster like you, I couldn't honestly have made that comment. As you know, I had a life path that led through university teaching and the bright lights of big cities. Up until my early 60s, there were presented encounters that stayed pretty close to the physical equilibrium law of relational <clears throat> harmonic resonance. That is, RHR e equilibrium is reached when the woman's age is eight plus one half of the man's age. But the energy we all have to spend to maintain equilibrium rises with age for both men and women. I am just an old man. They don't feel like dancing like Carmen no more. And then uh, he added, uh, he elaborated upon, uh, this is uh, Nielsen Alhambra's, I guess, his theory of, the theory of looking at naked women. <clears throat> Take it away, Nielsen. Seeing a woman naked is stimulating for the same reason that a sheep ram is stimulated by smelling a used urine on the ground. DNA is entirely about reproducing itself. All else are the details of implementing and scaling that imperative. Male mammals have to spend energy and time on their addiction. Human addictions have external blockers, though. 
Heroin has methadone. Human sex has female intimacy. However, female intimacy is way more than just an addiction blocker. That was my takeaway from your essay. And uh, my response to Nielsen uh, after that comment was, interesting takeaway, amigo. I will have to reread it to fully understand your point. I think you are saying that a man desiring female intimacy is no different than a ram smelling a puddle of piss on the ground. You no doubt are correct on that part of your theory. The ram at least has something physical in front of him to consider, unlike most human men after a certain age. I think Don Juan Matus spent a lot of time explaining to Carlos Castaneda that male mammals have to spend energy and time on their addiction. As he said, it is easier to turn into a crow and fly off into the unknown than it is to have a successful intimate relationship with a female. The single most energetic vampire in the universe. Don Juan never did figure out how to do it. I have spent more time on that addiction in the last 10 years than I have thinking about the collapse of a planet hands down. And uh, with that, we are going to, uh, I think I'm going to keep the old feet. We're just going to stay in the bare feet. I'm going to head off and uh, have my two for one margaritas at Catch, at Catch Restaurant, enjoying, uh, dreaming about beautiful young vulva smoothie slurpers while I still can. Bye guys.